Hello everyone. everyone and welcome to the latest vlog. Um, things are pretty much the same with the uh, Covid pandemic aren't they? Um, they are at the moment yeah. So we're still doing the shop on our own and um, we're looking forward to it um, subsiding a little bit and maybe things can get a little bit back to normality again. Things have relaxed a little bit haven't they? Look, the yeah. government restrictions have uh, been eased a bit but I think you're still a long way from, from getting back to normal don't you? Yeah. So in the meantime, here is a look back to normal times. Remember those? Mm. Uh, as we continue our cruise around the Leicestershire Ring, uh, you need to look out for Steve getting an unexpected soaking. Mm. Hope you enjoy. See you later. Just having a walk with Blue and um have these little signs all around this reserve. This is the wet woodland. I've just passed the meadow. So it's just where they have all the felled trees and things. Again, it's just for wildlife. It's a beautiful walk. Paths all like this all the way around. You can hear the A38 in the background, but when you get round to the canal side, you can't hear it. There's these little paths all the way off. Little woodland paths. Apparently there's a lot more rain coming now. Um, up to the weekend. So um, we still don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to take each day as it comes. We've got 48 hour mooring where we are. So it means we can stay another day if we want to. And then... Uh, We'll head on a bit further towards the lock. So yeah, enjoy my walk today. Makes a change from a towpath. Looks like we've got a massive storm coming. Can you see the storm, everyone? What's that then? I'm taking a stroll down to Witchnor Lock, which is the start of the river section, to see if I can see uh, what's going on. The section is still closed, as you can see uh, on the yellow sign behind me. I just want to find out for myself exactly what's going on and uh, see if we can make some plans as to what we're going to do. I have to say it's a lot further than I'd uh, estimated on the map, but I've come this far so I'm determined to get there now. See how the lock here has been cabled closed by the CRT to stop people from using it. I imagine that the next lock along at Arawas has been uh, similarly secured to stop people entering the river section from the other end. the level has risen so much it's at the same level as the bank in places here the towpath crosses a few bridges before you reach the weir round the corner these floodplains are certainly living up to their name These cows were keeping high and dry, for the time being at least. A warning sign to tell voters to keep well to the right away from the weir, even in normal times. There 
was a huge volume of water moving past and down the weir. Very different from how it was just a few days before when we passed the first time. Well, I can see why this river section has been closed. Uh, glad I made the journey, a bit further than I thought on foot. Uh, Google tells me I've got about an hour and 20 minutes walk to get back to the boat. So, here goes. Uh, and we're just hoping that the levels will subside and let's continue our journey. I took shelter under this bridge from yet another rain shower. I really didn't want to disturb this group of young goslings together with their proud parents. Luckily I made my way through a gap and was able to pass them by without making them move. In walking to the weir and back I've covered about 10 miles. No one can say that I didn't get my steps in today. Whiling away the time at Tatton Hill Lock, uh, I've just found a geocache that I knew was here, uh, but I couldn't find uh, yesterday when I went on my explorations. Had sudden inspiration while the lock was filling, and I found it. For those who are unfamiliar with geocaching and want to know more, I'll leave a link in the description below. through one of the narrowest bridges in the world. It's barely wider than uh, the width of our boat. Must be some reason for that. Uh, but I know we tapped it on the way through uh, going up, so I was extra careful and uh, dropped down to idle uh, on this uh, passage and just managed to avoid touching the sides. Good morning. Good morning. This is day 10. We've um, decided to do about five miles today up towards the danger zone. Um, the reason is we need water. So we know there's a water point uh, not far away from um, where the um, navigation's closed. Um, if it's still closed when we get there, it's not a problem. We'll find somewhere to moor up. Uh, may even go back to where we were earlier on today. Nice there, because we here's closer to the A38, you probably hear the road noise. Very much. So, although we could moor here, we'd rather not. No, definitely. So, it's a nice avenue of trees we're going down. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a bit too close to the A38, which is that way. So, um, we'll let you know how we get on.
So we've just stopped to um, take on some water. We've got a lock ahead of us. So once we've got the water, we're going to go through the lock. Not a very good seal, I'm afraid, on the tap. Not quite sure what's going on there, but it's our hose. It's quite a turbulent place. When we came through here the other day, there was um, people sat outside the pub having a drink. I don't think they'll be there today. It's uh, overcast. Bit of a swirly. So, there's the lock. There's the boat. So we've taken on water now and we've stopped just past Barton Marina. We don't really want to go down too far in case there's nowhere nice to moor. Uh, and so we've just pulled up temporarily. I'm going to walk uh, down and see if there's anything better around the corner. We did find a better place. Here the towpath was much wider and there was marginally less dog poo uh, in evidence as well. This area is obviously very popular with dog walkers. Quite close to the 8.38 here, but I think it's as close as we can get moored up and just wait now for the Trent to reopen where we need to go through. I'm walking down the canal with Lou. As you can probably hear, the 8.38 is just to the side of me. 
massive lorry has just gone for a huge puddle and drenched me in the dock. It's not nice, it's not a nice canal towpath. I'm just having to walk down to the lock to see how the flooding is. Otherwise I wouldn't be walking down this way. It's just too noisy, it's just too close to the cars. There's just a little barrier. So uh, whether you're out this way, there's another lorry. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Drenched again. <laughs> so if you're ever out this way, don't come walking when we've just had a rainstorm. Otherwise, this happens. Steve and Blue both got back to the boat without further mishap and were drying off nicely. Steve had spoken to some boat owners that were moored right next to the lock and uh, they very kindly offered to give us a call should things start moving. Meanwhile, not much that we could do but sit and wait. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Ancat.